Hello and welcome to Cheshire Audio. Now this is just going to be a bit, a bit of a roundup of what's going on in the shop again. Um, I keep doing these, but th things keep happening, so I just, you know, I think oh, I might do, better do a video. Um, I will talk about, not just yet, I'm, not going, I'm going to leave this till the end of the video. There is a, a kind of a new product from Riga, a new turntable, which isn't a new turntable, turn may not be um, a forever model. Um, sounds very intriguing that, but I'll, t I'll talk about it in a second. I sort of almost want opinions on it, because I'm not sure about it, to be honest. Uh, I can see why they're doing it, but we'll talk about that in a sec. Um, the other thing I wanted to show was I've changed, done a bit of a change around in the shop and there are new products. Um, if you've watched my videos before, you'll probably have seen that I'd have a little um, system playing in the shop just for a bit of background music, and I tend to use it to run, run things in. And it's usually this Atacama Evoke um, in the middle, speakers either side, and basically records scattered all over the place. And it always looks a mess. It, I mean, it, perf it performs a function, but it, it never looks great. So I kept thinking what I need to do is get a double width table in there, fill the space up a bit more. It'll give me more storage space for um, having things on. I could have two different systems on there, switch between if I needed to. I mean, it's not. It, I'm, I'm not going to use this as a demonstration room because the acoustics down here are just not that good. Um, the floor's a bit weird because part of it's under the cellar, part of it's a solid floor, uh, part of it over the cellar, not under the cellar. Um, and there's not enough soft furniture in, furniture in this room to, to sort of kill all the resonances and things. So it, it's, it sounds a bit odd, it's a bit, a bit strange. So you couldn't really, I don't use it for demonstrations, it is just for background music. Um, but then I sort of thought, well, if double width tables, I don't tend to sell, it's not something I really do. So why not get something new as well and have, let's have a choice of tables here just to show you know, another aspect of what I do here. So I've bought a, um, lateral cadenz VR, which is the wood veneer version. I already own the original cadenz, which is um, like a satin black version. The VR, it, there's, a, there's a certain amount of reworking go, uh, has gone on with that, and it's a superb turntable. So, uh, acoustically, these things are amazing. Quite a bit better than the Atacama, I've got to say, and the Atacama's a good table. It's more expensive, obviously. Um, it doesn't on the face of it, look as though it's got it's as well isolated, but actually there's the attention to detail in the down legs and everything, the way they attack, the way they all uh, attach together. There's little uh, isolating pieces between each each part, and it's it's really clever. It is very very clever, and they do they do work really well. All the shelves are routed out, and it's sort of tuned to take out as much of the resonance as, as possible. I mean, the, the Atacama is basically relying on the bamboo and relying on the spikes of each level. It's not quite stable, not quite, you know... Um, the Cadenz makes the Atacama sound a little bit soft, actually. I mean, tables do make... I need to do a bit of a tweakery thing on this. Ta tables do make quite a big difference. The, the, what, what you're s sitting your equipment on makes a difference to the sound of it. So it's quite an important factor, really. Anyway, that's the Cadenz. I'll just closer on that. I just think they look amazing in, in, the, in the, um, the walnuts and the... I don't think if there's another... Is it just walnut he does? I can't remember. I think it is. I think it's just walnut. Oh, there's a, and a black oak. They do black oak as well. The other thing that I've got here, which it's a bit of a shame actually, because I was hoping to do a full review of these, is I've got another Audite table, uh, platform, should I say. Uh, I've got the Hoyata, I think it's pronounced, which is a, just a single layer platform uh, with, I think, Zorbethane type feet underneath. Very, very effective little platform. £185, I think, for this version, because there's a, there's a higher, um, higher load capacity version, which I think is about another 10. Um, ideal for things like, if you put a plane of three on it, really improves things. It just, it just gives it an extra layer of isolation from whatever it's sat on. So if, it's, if you're sitting your deck on a sort of high mass uh, sideboard or record cabinet or something else like that, it's ideal because it just gives it an extra le level of isolation. The one that I really wanted to talk about is the, uh, the Duo Neva, which is, if you imagine this with another level, and it's got a sort of a, an isolating material between the two levels. It's not like uh, the, the bridge, which is the one under there, if you can see it, which is, um, that actually uses a sort of a little uh, hanging thread system, which, which really isolates well. It doesn't have all that, because that's quite an expensive thing to produce. It's a simply the Joe um, Neva is sort of a simplified version of it, really. Unfortunately, after it, it came in with this one, and it's already gone out, so it's already sold. So I didn't get a chance to really have a play with that properly. But it's 
going by the little Riata, it's going to, it, it is going to be really good. Um, I forgot to say, the, you may wonder why I've got record storage under there. Now Kevin has produced a little kit that fits under the cadence and allows you to store record record underneath. You have to spec it with the right leg length because it, it is sort of um, speckable. You can have as many legs as you want, whatever size with a certain sizes that you can you can order uh, to suit whatever equipment you've got. If you go for the the big one, and there's a little kit that just stops the record pushing through and stops them falling through between the legs. It's quite quite a clever little arrangement actually. It's about another hundred pounds on top. Now, I agree with Kevin on this one. It's not something you should probably do on a high-end hi-fi table, but if you need to store a record and you've got another way, no, way, no other way of doing it, I'm losing the spike power of speech here, um, it's still a great table. I mean, it's, still, it's always going to be a great table, whatever you do. And if it is a compromise, but you can store records in there if you want to. So you just produce this little kit just in case you, you know, that's what, something you can't really get away from. So anyway, that's, that's the reason it's got the record storage in there. I've just bought one in just to show that it's a, a doable thing and it tidies up my records, to be honest. Um, so yeah, um, let's talk about the Riga, because I think that's it as far as that goes. Um, yeah, Riga. What they're doing is, they're calling it sort of the green, uh, green grade. They've not found, but they they'd accumulated a lot of um, what they call sometimes call them B stocks, sometimes call them sort of um, seconds. I suppose they've got lots of plinths that have been st stacking up in the in the stores, and rather than throw them away, they've decided to produce what's called um, a Riga Green Grade. <laughs> It makes me think of, not this, there was a guy who used to play Selwyn Froggett, I can't remember his name now, he used to play a character called Greengrass, didn't he? I can't remember, I can't even remember what the programme was now. I, I, I just get this image in my mind every time I think Green Grade. Um, so what it's going to be, it's, it's basically going to be a, a, a cheaper deck than the P1, using P1 parts. The plinths, I think, are P1, P2, because those, uh, option-wise, you get gloss, they're all gloss, actually, not, not the, the later... Um, matte finish, uh, gloss white, gloss black, the walnut, gloss red, which isn't available on a P1, but it is on the green grade. Um, the differences will be that it won't be screen printed, it won't say Riga Planer on it, it won't have any branding on it at all, it'll just be a, a, a plain plinth. The only indication of what it is, is I think the lid, the lid badge will say Riga green grade on it. Um, I'm not sure what I think about this. I think um, it's quite good that you'll be able to buy a Riga for a couple of hundred pounds, which is what it's, what it's going to be. So it's going to be a hundred pounds less than a P1. There will be um, a P1 Plus version of it. Uh, I don't tend to do the P1 Plus because I don't like things integrated into other things. So I may, may not do that. Um, I'm not going to order them initially. What I'm going to do is just I'm kind of putting the question out. If you think it's a, a great idea or if you think, if you want one, let me know. I have, to, I have to order a certain number of them uh, to be able to get any. So I don't want to just sort of pitch in there and then find that nobody wants to do it. Because generally in the past, I've never, I've never um, taken in bee stock of any, any manufacturer because I'm always a bit wary. It's a bit of a difficult one because what you tend to find is people want to open the box and I've seen, well, what, what, is the, what is the problem with it? Let me say, you know, will, you, will you take photographs? Will you do this? You can't do that really. It's sort of, you're saving £100, it's kind of almost caveat emptor sort of thing, it's your own, you, you buy at your own risk. I mean they won't have put anything out there that's been driven over by a forklift or anything like that, it'll just be little marks that here and there which meant they couldn't sell them as a, a brand new seal box turntable really, just, they just weren't up to standard. All the other parts will be absolutely spot on, so the bearing, the platter, the tone arm, everything will be spot on, it'll still have lifetime warranty, um, but there may be scratches on it. So that's, you, you know what you're getting, and it isn't, it isn't badged as Riga Planer 1, it's badged as Riga Green Grade. Green grade. I've still got that image in my head. Well, I don't know why, I'm, I'm actually out of breath now, and I don't know why I'm out of breath. I felt awful yesterday, I, was, I felt really ill yesterday, and then it seemed to sort of fade away, I and mean, we've just been left all sort of breathless. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Um, if you're interested in the, the Green Grades, Send me an email, don't do it in comments, just send me an email because I don't, you probably not realise this by now, I don't read the comments because there's too many 
Um, and some of them are a bit unpleasant sometimes, so I don't like to go there. I get some really, really, mainly really nice comments and really nice suggestions on there and whatever else. And then there'll be one person who just doesn't like, doesn't like people. <laughs> just has to shout. So we just, we ignore them. Uh, yeah, so get send me an email and I'll, it'd be interesting to see what sort of response there is to that. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Don't forget to give a subscribe and a like, and I will see you in a future video. Thank you very much.